Well, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to my channel, Just Kelly, and I'm Kelly. Um, come on in. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, come on in and welcome. Everyone's welcome here. Um, I want to put up a little graft right here. And... Um, show you um, some of my stats. It seems like, um, I, I know it's summer and a lot of people are out and about going to the beach and having lots of fun. Um, but I know there's lots of you that are staying inside, staying out of the sun, staying cool. Although today, um, in my area, uh, we're giving a little cloud cover. We have a little bit of humidity, which is making it a little bit warmer. Not, not too much, but I think our high today is going to be mid-80s, which is not bad. It's, you know, considerable cool down for us. So with that being said, I'm hoping... That will get some more uh, views. Um, the views on my videos have really drastically reduced a lot to, I don't know, eight to 10 views a video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know I've had some problems with my internet and, and whatnot. Um, so that's something I have to take care of on my end. Um, so I am, you know, working toward that. It's just hard to get a hold of uh, some of the people that may be responsible for it. Um, so, uh, yeah. To get it working, um, I still don't have my printer up and working. Um, but anyways, I thought we'd just do a little um, whip and chat here. I'm working on the Trinity of Peace. <sighs> I'm missing a whole thing of beads. I've looked everywhere for them. I don't know what happened. The kitties knocked over a whole tray of my beads I, I I've moved and and looked I know it's like the story of my life it's just it's um frustrating to me um but I will put in an order um for some new but what I'm doing I'm not actually using the ruler anymore on this because it was just it's, it takes way too much time Anyways, I've moved. I'm doing the checkerboard technique on uh, this. So I'm just going to fill this in. And um, the area I am working in, here is the picture of Trinity of Peace. And um, I've done, let me see. Sorry, I, I've done all along the bottom here. And I'm up in this lighted area right in here. So that's what that's um, the area that I'm filling in today. So let me um, kind of turn the camera around if I can. Um, and I'll be right back. So don't go away. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. So this is a little difficult doing it over the phone this way, but at least you can see. I did have someone um, say that my angles weren't very good, so I'm trying to improve on that trying to I'm still working on trying to figure out how to mirror 
my phone to my iPad. Um, so that I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> what the heck I'm recording. That would help a lot, I think. <laughs> Anyways, things have cooled down quite a bit in my area. I think our high today is going to be mid-80s, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, so, uh, we do have some, it's going to be very cloudy. There'll be a little bit of, um, humidity that might raise the temperature to feel a couple of degrees warmer than what it actually is, but nothing too crazy. Um, like a lot of you are getting in the south. Um, but anyways, it is, uh, it is going to be a tremendous relief for us today because, um, temperatures have been soaring up in our, up in the three digits around here. So I'm very grateful for the cool down. Of course, I've been staying inside a lot. Uh, not doing a whole heck of a lot. Um, I did finish up the, uh, no, I didn't finish it. I finished the top part of the lantern up and I've got some sealant on it, letting that dry. Um, So yeah, I like filling, I like filling them in. The only thing with doing it this way is that, I mean, I guess you could do this in, um, you know, if you had big areas of color blocking or something, you could do this in um, multi-placing. But as you can see how I'm feeling in that there is quite a bit of confetti in um, this painting. Anyways, I'm hoping to get this done. I'm hoping to get both these done by the end of the month. I really need to push myself into doing more because, honestly, I've, I've been a bit lazy with not having um, internet. Um... Yeah, it's just, you know, put a damper on things for me. I don't know if I told you guys this in another video, but um, I responded to a telephone call that I missed. And it was from the United States Postal Service, because you know I've been having lots and lots of problems with getting mail and stuff. And I've made two formal complaints. Um, even had the um, mailman come to my door and say, 
you know, she was, she was just, she was nice, but I could tell that she was irritated by my complaints. Um, because she said, I'm delivering your mail. I'm delivering your mail. And I, you know, I gave her dates and receipts. I go, you know, well, I just spoke to someone. Um, and she said, well, ever since I took over this route, she goes, now, maybe before there were a lot of new people and things were getting, you know, but since I came on, you've been getting your mail. And so I gave her, you know, three dates that were just, you know, very recent. And then she just sat there and, you know, kind not sat there, but stood there and kind of looked at me. And, and then I, I told her, I go, um, look, um, I don't know what's going on. I just need to get my mail. Um, she said, well, you put in one complaint already and I've taken care of it. Somebody put in a change of address and, um, and, um, so I have requested that change of address to be sent to me. I'd like to see it. I want to see if I can recognize, you know, the handwriting on it. Find out who is behind this. And I said, you know, I understand that. But some of these dates are from, you know, June. Or from when I first put in, after I first put in the complaint. So they're still happening. Now, if I get any, um, you know, feedback from people in July... You know, I, there's going to be another complaint. I go, I'm sorry, but, you know, unless I'm starting to get my mail on a regular basis, there'll be, I will, I will continually put in complaints until this problem is resolved. So since that little confrontation that we had I think I'm getting stuff because she's been coming directly to my door and giving me some of my packages um, so I'm hoping it is resolved I'm still trying to track down a package that I was supposed to have received last February that I never got. And at first, the tracking was saying, oh, it was delivered <laughs> on such and such date, but I never received it. Now it's saying that the label was printed, but never entered into their system. So, I don't know what's going on with the postal service. But I contacted the vendor again and gave them the last receipt of what the post office is now saying. I just want my stuff. I mean, I paid for it. I just want my stuff. But anyways, trials, <laughs> struggles, it's really not that big of a deal, you know? Hmm. 
Oh, I'm kind of out of frame, aren't I? I'm just filling in some of these tees down here at the bottom before I switch up colors. So what's everybody doing this summer? I have noticed, um, you know, uh, my video views have gone way, way down. Like between eight and ten views of video. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of effort to put out a video. <laughs> Takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Of course, I do everything myself from beginning to end. Um, a lot of new merchandise is coming out. Oh my gosh, I have been looking on... Uh, Timu, there's so many new cute things coming out. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, any more teas? Tea, 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 teas. Well, we can always come back if there's more. Let me put these away. I'll bring out another color. I do like this technique. It does, you know, line things up nice and straight. You still have to straighten out a little bit, but not as much as you would if you were just, you know, freestyling. Okay, let's see. How about, we don't have many L's, but let's go ahead and take care of some of these L's here. So what's everybody been up to? Are you watching movies? Are you spending time at the beach or the pool? What's going on with everyone? I know my son and his family have been going over to my other son's house. And spending time at the at the pool there. I don't like the way that one's sitting in there. Hmm, there we go. Maybe that'll work. Might have to take that one out. Yeah, I'm not, not liking this drill right here. Oh, now I knocked out two. This is the one I want out.
Is that better? Well, that one. There we go. Okay, that is better. Okay, so I have some more down here. While I have them out, we'll just go ahead and try to fill these in. There we go. I do have a Chimu haul that's supposed to be coming in. So I'm looking forward to that. And, um... Trying to cut down on spending, but there are several canvases I would love to get from Art and Soul. I think there's three. In fact, Star, if you're out there, oh, I don't know if you look at Art and Soul at all, but they have the cutest little Eeyore painting. I know I, I saw it and I thought of you, so you might want to go check them out. So, so cute. Um, so one thing, <laughs> I just heard, I heard a little growl in the background. Um, Mango is a little aggressive <laughs> in his play and, um, yeah, he sometimes gets too rough with the littles. And um, they growl and hiss at him. And he doesn't care. He doesn't stop. He just keeps going after them. <laughs> I don't know if I should stop him or... I mean, Chloe doesn't do anything to stop him, so... If she doesn't do anything, I figure, well, I, maybe I shouldn't do anything either. They're not getting hurt. I mean, they're just <sighs> having a little squabbles. <laughs> right? <sighs> you guys hear that? That would be uh, 
Oh, that's Chloe. <laughs> that's Chloe hissing and spitting at Mango. And so she's putting, she's trying to put him in his place. <laughs> and he's sitting up behind her. I just antagonizing her. Just trying, just barely touching her. And she's getting mad. She's going, I told you to stop it, young man. <laughs> He's going, well, what if I, what if, can I touch you like this? And she'll say, no. Well, can I touch you like this? <laughs> That's what he's doing. Oh, my gosh. He reminds me of, you know, my brother and how my brother used to tease me. He's touching me. He's touching me. <laughs> Clearly, Chloe can take care of herself <laughs> in this situation. If anyone's going to get hurt, it's going to be Mango. Okay, I think that's all the L's that I can see. Let's move to the fours. <laughs> She's got I got it under control. <laughs>
Oh, I. This one has a hole in the top of it. That one's no good. I got this one canvas that I've had for some time and I thought it would be so much fun to do it this summer. Um, I called it Chippendale. But it's got Chippendale, they're on the farm and they're eating corn on the cob on a picnic table. Oh, it's so cute and I wanted to do it, but it's not happening this summer, that's for sure. Anybody know what the event is for August for um, what Diamond Grandma is doing in August? I know November is landscapes, and I'm um, pretty sure Ticket to Ride is also going to be around that time. I'm going to do my Three Kings or Three Wise Men, whatever it's called, from Diamond Art Club. During that time, and um, but after um, this one, I am going to um, start uh, on two Dreamer Designs. I think they're I think they're both squares. Um, one is the lucky koi that I want. I've been you know wanting to do for such a long time. Um, I got it from my daughter for Christmas. Um, such a beautiful beautiful painting. So vibrant, so colorful. Perfect for summer because, you know, it looks so inviting and so uh, cooling. Has that, you know, cooling effect. A lot of um, primary colors, though, which, you know, really surprised me. But I like primary colors and it will be a great uh, great change from all this brown in fact the snowman I'm doing also is a lot of browns it just happened that way you know I, I certainly didn't plan it that way to be doing so many browns at one time
I don't know which, what number that is. I'm going to stick a four in it. I don't know if you guys can see, but all these arrows here, I don't have drills for. That's why they have not been done. Oh, all these up here are fours. There's a great big old watermelon sitting on my counter. It needs to be sliced up and chilled. How do you guys eat your watermelon? Do you eat it with ice cream? Do you eat it with salt, pepper? I like mine with chili leon uh, on it. It is a Mexican food spice. It is so good. The watermelons have been good. The ones that, I mean, we've had a couple this year so far. And they have been really good. What about corn on the cob? Corn on the cob is another one. There's so many ways. I like mine, you know, like roasted on the barbecue. And then you put just a little bit of butter so everything kind of sticks. But mainly you put mayonnaise. 
um, chili. And then Mexican cheese on top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, the church we were going to when my kids were little, in the summer we would have um, services, afternoon Sunday services at the beach where we would have roasted corn and watermelon. So good. Of course, the kids all got to play together and go swimming together. And we mainly had it at, you know, the bay. Because of the little ones, you know. Have any of you gotten the new Diamond Art Club pen that has um, the putty that um, is like in the pen and you can advance it like a mechanical pencil? I look forward to trying that out. I think something like that would be, you know... a really good in a situation like what I'm doing, filling in, um, you know, where you're just single placing like this because, you know, you don't have to stop so much and deal with the wax and... And then they give you extra putty, too, for the um, multi-placer. I guess it's not wax. It's putty. And I do believe it's unscented, but I've seen on their site that they do have scented ones. So if you wanted, you know, a little aromatherapy going on while you diamond painted, they do have scented ones. I myself would just pref prefer to put on a, a, a candle or some candle wax. But with, with my little ones running around here, I don't dare, you know. I do not dare do something like that. I do have an effuser, you know, water-based, which 
at least there's, you know, no flame involved or heat. Lot of gapping in in this one they seem to be fitting together very very nicely not like you know the um the christmas one that i'm doing that one has lots and lots of gaps I think what we're looking at, we're looking at the glow around the lion's head and then part of his mane, mane, mane. I didn't know there was, there's a lot of fours here, guys, a lot of fours. Yeah, I keep thinking about that watermelon sitting in there. My mouth is just watering. I've been eating a lot of, I finished off all my homemade yogurt, so i got to make some more. And I finished off um, the cottage cheese I bought, so I need to get more. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of, you know, just um, like yogurt and berries, um, cottage cheese and berries. Just kind of soft, cool foods. Iced coffee, hot coffee, energy drinks, lots and lots of water. I like those little um, Mio, is that what they're called? Mio's, whoops, where did my drill go? Here it is. Um, those ener like energy enhancers or vitamin enhancers, you can, you know, 
concentrated. You can squirt in your water. You can put them in on your yogurt. You can put them on your oatmeal. Whatever you want to, you know. They come in all different kinds of flavors. If you're feeling for something a little sweet, you know, they're not sweetened with um, sugar. I think they use stevia. I'm not sure. But I like those. Did we run out of fours? Looks like we're getting into H's and fives and P's. Here's some uh, fours down here. Let me get them. There's just a few. I have a whole line of fours right there hmm. that I missed. Let's see here. picked it right back up sometimes these thicker ones you know thicker placers they're just too thick to get in between it's just easier to fill it in yourself uno y uno Okay, any more fours down here? Uh, I'm seeing. Oh, there's a couple over here. Let's. Oh. I don't know how I got in between <laughs> these. <laughs> See what I did? Like this part over here is, uh, this part over here is all done. And then this part over here, <laughs> oops, is all done. <laughs> so I'm kind of right in the middle of two finished places. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Sorry about that crinkling. That's my arm on the paper uh, next to me. Sticking.
I think we are almost done with the fours. Okay, I'm not going to do what's underneath here <laughs> just yet. I got enough to do. Okay, fours. I think I'm done. You can see where I missed some of my teeth, but that's okay. Anyways, here we go. We've been going for about 53 minutes. Uh, you can see how nice and straight they're all lined up. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I just had this little section left to do. And I might keep moving this way and get that lion's head done because he's almost done. He's almost done. I think the lamb is right about... <laughs> There, I know the Holy Spirit is done. He's uh, around here somewhere. Maybe he's on the other side. Anyways, okay, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by um, and joining me. Um, I am Kelly, and this is my channel, Just Kelly. I do a lot of things. Um, diamond painting, uh, whipping chats, um, unboxings or unveilings. Um, I try to uh, get things from new companies. I'm not sponsored in any way. I don't get PR packages. I'm not big enough yet to do that, although I would love to do that. Anybody out there, any companies out there that would like to take a chance on a newcomer um, doing a honest uh, review, I would love to. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, so this is what I do. I also do uh, some Bible study. I do um, uh, verse mapping and word mapping. And um, just uh, lots of fun stuff. So if you like my content and um, would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Um, if you're brand new and you're subscribing, I have more videos than I do subscribers. So you'll have lots and lots of content to look at. Some of them are a little kooky. I've been known to be the kooky one in the community. I have some um, celebratory dance videos and uh, some uh, other little crazy things that I have done. But anyways, yeah, um, song, sing, dance. I am not talented. I'll warn you that. I am not one that was born uh, with rhythm. In fact, I'm just the opposite. So it can be quite amusing. Anyways, um, before we go, I'll give you a, a look at Mango. There's my little Mango. My beautiful little Mango. That's him, the terror of the group. <laughs> He is, he keeps getting, he gets a step in his eye. I keep cleaning it, but he, you know, every day, I'm, several times a day, he gets this, you know, black step in his eyes that I'm always cleaning out. Anyways, he's my little orange kitty that I absolutely love. I have a calico kitty. I have a gray kitty, I have a black kitty, and then I have an orange kitty. And they are all the same colors of my calico. Kitty. 
Only the black and the gray kitty are actually related. But they all love each other. They all get along great, except for what you saw today because of my little teaser boy. He, he is fearless. He is lovable, fearless, and antagonistic <laughs> toward the other kitties. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for allowing me to share. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just, I appreciate you all so, so very much. And I would love it if you would like to become a part of my channel. So hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell or ring my bell, ring my bell, ring my bell, ring my bell. That way you will know every time I put out another video. But until next time, my friends, keep cool, keep hydrated. And most importantly, may God bless you and yours. Bye-bye now. Love you all.